welcome back to my channel two videos in two weeks who would have thought that was gonna happen but it has yay so today I'm bringing you this little look here it is a bright red lip from Fenty Beauty it's contouring but for pale skin it's highlight which is always great <laughs> and yes if you'd like to see how I got this look please keep watching and if you like the look and you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and I won't hang around anymore let's get into the video so I cleansed first using the Nivea Micellar zero percent residue micellar water then I toned using the origins a perfect world age defense treatment lotion and today I also prepared my skin for makeup by using the simple hydrating booster water boost thing <laughs> and I also use the origins ginseng eye cream and Vaseline on my lips so today I'm going to be using this foundation by The Ordinary it's their high coverage coverage foundation and it's in the shade 1.1 N so fair neutral and I'm using it with a damp beauty blender sponge thing this one's by Real Techniques so I'm gonna start by using about this much I'm just gonna bounce this right into the skin And I'm also putting it onto my eyelid to so just pull the whole face together. I just like to really, really work the foundation into my skin. Just keep bouncing a beauty blender or sponge or whatever you're using into your skin to really marry it to your actual face. And that's just going to make it look more skin-like, even if you're using a high coverage foundation like this one. Let's move on. So next I'm just going to use some concealer to cover up any blemishes. I'm using the Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number one Fair, my old faithful. So literally just anywhere I've got any kind of blemishes. And then using the same beauty sponge, I'm just going to bounce it into my skin. I'm so excited because Collection have brought out a new shade in the Lasting Perfection in Zero Extra Fair. And I feel like this is going to be the perfect highlighting shade for me. So number one, Fair is essentially my skin tone. Um, it's slightly lighter when I'm really tanned. I say really tanned. I'm very pale. I go freckly, not tanned. But I think especially going into winter, this is going to be the best shade. So the difference in shades is, is enough. I'm just very excited to actually finally try it. I got it today, so hopefully it's not like super white, but let's give it a good go. So I'm just going to do this under my eyes. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ideal. On my eyelids. And then a little bit on the top of my nose, through the center of my face. And then a little bit on my chinny chin chin. So taking the same sponge, I'm just gonna bounce it into my skin as I did before. Absolutely magical. So let's go and do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to be using a cream contour by KKW Beauty. This is the light contouring stick. I'm going to be using the shade number one, which is this really pale, very cool toned brown. Before we put powder or anything on, draw a little bit of contouring on the side of my face and then bounce it in using the exact same bunch as I've been using this whole time. So I'm going to be going slightly above where my natural cheekbone is. So my natural cheekbone is like here. So I'm gonna be going like here to just lift my cheeks, if you will. So that's the shape of the contour I'm gonna be using and working with. 
I'm gonna bounce it in and using upwards motions so that I'm not dragging that, that contour down my face. And doing the same on the other side. So I'm going to then take the second shade on this, which is a bit darker but still cool toned, and I'm going to just literally pop that right in where my cheekbone is. And again, just bounce that into the skin. Taking the same shade, I'm going to just put a tiny bit of contouring around my forehead. This, for me, because I have quite a small forehead, is not so much about contouring, but just kind of making sure that the colour palette on my face is all kind of cohesive. So I literally just kind of put it up here. And the good thing about this product, which obviously no one is sponsoring me to talk about, that would be the day, wouldn't it? Um, but I really like how much it blends out. It makes it really easy to work with. The final kind of cream contouring bit I'm gonna do is on my nose. Oh, why is this wet? Ugh. I'm gonna go back in with the first shade, which is the cooler toned and it's lighter as well. And I'm gonna put a very, using a very light hand, I'm going to just take a tiniest bit and then zoom you in for this. Whoa! <laughs> so you can see it's not even going all the way down my nose, it's just the tiniest bit. Um, and then I'm going to dab that away. Or blend, not dab it away, obviously. We get in there. Okie dokie, we can move on to powder. Now again, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and I'm using, I'm so excited to say I'm using two brushes and I've lost one of them. So we're only gonna be using this one, which is of course the Real Techniques Fluffy Powder Brush. So I'm gonna first off use a very light hand, putting a tiny bit on the under eye and then I'll go all over and shove it everywhere. So using about this much in the lid, I am going to take a tiny weeny bit onto my brush. I'm gonna very lightly tap it under my eyes onto where I put the concealer. I'm using a very light hand here. I would use a different shaped brush, but like I said, I can't find it, which is nice. Really, really good. So once I've done that, I am reloading up my brush tapping off the excess and then I'm just going to shove it all over my face using patting motions. I'm going to start on the bottom of my face which is where I lose foundation quickest so I want to put a lot of powder there which is kind of to what a lot of people do because a lot of people have oily t-zones and I don't. Okay, so now we're going to use a powder contour to go over where we put the cream contour. I am using the classic Benefit Hula Bronzer. It looks like this and I mean I do quite like the little brushes that come with it but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to be using this brush by Real Techniques. It is actually called the contour brush uh, so it's just like a fluffy one. The aim here is to use a very light hand because I'm not trying to do a really sharp uber contour look. I just want a natural contour to kind of complement what I'm going to do with the rest of my makeup. So, very lightly going over where I put the contour. I would rather start with too little product and build it up then start with too much and then have to try and work with that because it's so much easier to add product than to take away. 
and also it can look more airbrushed and more diffused if you've got layers of carefully applied makeup than if you just shove it all in at once and then try and carve something out of the shock horror that that can create. And using the lightest hand, I'm gonna go over the contour of my nose. So you can kind of see how that looks. All right, let's move on. So next I'm gonna do brows. I'm gonna take a spoolie brush and I'm going to brush them out just to take out any powder that's on there and also to give them back their natural shape, which I'll then follow using a hard angle brush, which is one that looks like this, and a dark brown eyeshadow. Mine is from the NARS and God Created the Woman palette, which is dead old, but there you go. Looks like this. And I just load it up. And shove it on, to be honest. And for the kind of inner part of my eyebrow, I like to just turn it on its side and just draw on some little hairs. And then connect them up. a tiny bit of blush um, I'm using a very light hand again because I want the kind of contoury bronziness to kind of be the main event of the face um, I am using a Real Techniques blush brush and MAC blush in peachy keen I think it's called so it's this dark pink color I'm just going to dip it once in the pan tap off the excess and I'm just going to put a little bit kind of along where I put the contour and then putting a tiny bit on the apples of my cheeks. So just in the same on the other side. Why not? So next I'm going to do eyes. I'm going to do a very simple eye look today, but this is what I'm going to do. Come closer. I'm going to take a Sigma E40 tapered blending brush which is like one of these fluffy brushes and I'm going to take from the Naked 2 palette the colour Tease which is this colour. It's a cool toned brown and it's going to be really good for my purposes. So I'm literally going to take just a couple of dabs of that and I'm going to put it above my crease. Just blend it in there or on there even nice and subtle which is what we want I have hooded eyes so I kind of like things which are going to make my eyes look bigger and because this is a darker colour, it's going to create that illusion of a maybe higher crease. Uh, we'll see what it ends up like, but it will make my eyes look bigger. So now I'm going to go back into the Huda Beauty Move Obsessions palette, but this time I'm going to be taking this middle colour here, which is a lot warmer tone, but it's brown on the same fluffy brush just literally a couple of taps then I'm going to go over where I put the T's but I'm going to go actually slightly lower just slightly so nearer my natural eye crease and blend 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 your beauty blend your beauty So 
So going back to my E25 blush, I'm going to be taking from the Naked Heat palette, the color KN, which is this really dark, rusty color. Just took the tiniest, weeniest little bit onto the end of the brush. Make sure it's only the tiniest amount on it. Then I'm gonna literally shove it right in there and then just drag it around to kind of <laughs> to deepen my crease, which sounds like it's a recipe for disaster, but we'll see how it goes. This is what I do all the time and it usually works out well, but I haven't actually filmed it ever before, so if it looks bad on camera, it looks hot in real life, guys, obviously. So find my natural crease and just whack it in there. Like so. So next, going back to the tape blending brush, I'm just going to blend that all together. And make sure there's no harsh lines. And it's just one continuous kind of sweep of color. And then to complete the eyeshadow, I'm going back into my Naked Heat palette and I'm going to take the color Ounce, which is this color. It's a kind of slightly shimmery, very pale colour which is very my vibe and I'm taking it on the end of a flat brush and I'm just going to as always load up my brush and I'm just going to sweep it onto the lid where my eyes So next I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I'm going to apply mascara and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara which has got a nib like this which is kind of strange but I'm into it. So I'm going to use it. I always curl my eyelashes for about 20 seconds. Using pulsing motions. I always go from the top first and then onto the bottom. Okay, so that's my eyes done, so let's get back on to the rest of the look. Bam! So moving on to lips, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in the colour Red Fiction. I'm just going to overdraw my lips a little bit. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty lip paint in the colour Stunner, which is a stunning red colour. It looks like a little like nail varnish or something, it's like this tiny little applicator, so, oh, that colour. This colour is just absolutely everything, everything, oh, it just, it's just the bomb. Oh, it's the dream, it's the dream. We're almost finished with the look, I just need to do some highlight and some setting spray and we're good to go. So for highlight I'm going to be using one of my favourite products, it is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid by Face Studio. My favourite one is the iridescent colour, I just think it's absolutely divine. But this one in the colour medium nude is like golden and it will just look so good with the rest of this look. I think, I'm hoping, I'm sure. So I'm going to be taking about this much, which is tiny, right on the end of the pointed end of the beauty sponge. So it kind of looks like that. And I'm literally going to put it on the tops of where the light hits my cheek. Now, 
for kind of everyday look like this color is too dark if you're literally using it for kind of strobing effect but if you're kind of trying to tie it into a kind of gorgeous glowy bronzy look this color can even work on pale skin pasty ass pale skin like my own just make sure you blend it a lot so to finish off the highlighter i'm going to be using the urban decay naked illuminated powder this is in the color luminous which looks like this and it's very glittery and is just one of my favorite honestly just pure glitter nothing wrong with that so I'm going to take it I'm going to take it from the brow bone up into the temple and then down onto the cheek because I had Rihanna does her highlighter that way and everyone wants to be Rihanna obviously so So to finish off the look, I'm going to be using the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And I'm just going to shake it and put a couple of spritzes into the air surrounding my face to do a light dusting as if angels have spat at me and then my makeup's going to stay. Is that a thing? So... Oh, beautiful. Stunning beautiful broken <laughs> okay so I'm gonna just take you on a little tour of my face so that is the finished look okay so that's the finished look I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends and all that YouTube goodness. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!